Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'll be showing you how to make a good base on really any server. Today I'll be going on Legacy Raid. You can go on any server that you want, but I'm going to go on Legacy Raid today. Alright guys, so the first step, you're going to need a pick, some Munch Munch, some Flint Steel, at least 4 Ender Pearls, I took 8 just in case, and 20 Obsidian. So, where we're going to want to go first is the Nether. And there's two ways that you can do that. You can do slash warp Nether, or you can go to the Nether through a portal. So right now, I'm going to teach you guys how to get out of spawn. You're not going to want to go out of spawn in the main entrance. You're going to want to try to find a side entrance. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to go to the right side of spawn and make sure that nobody's over there. It seems like nobody's here, so we're going to want to jump off and really run for your life. So, book it. Nom, 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 nom. Alright, we're pretty far away now, so let's just make another portal. I'm gonna make this one underground so that nobody really sees it when they come past it, but if they do, it doesn't really matter that much. Alright, now that the nether portal is done, just set this thing ablaze and let's get going. Now that you're in the nether, you're gonna to wanna to find a pretty open area where you can just tower up, because we're gonna tower all the way up to the bedrock of the nether. We reached the top of the nether at about 122 y coordinate, and now we're going to want to try an enderpearl trick. But before we do that, we're going to want to do slash set home or slash set home home if you can set more than one home. Now that you've pulled out your pearls, you're going to want to try enderpearling right directly into the bottom of the bedrock. You'll get over the bedrock eventually, taking a little suffocation damage, but you'll have to use at least four enderpearls to get over a block. Alright guys, here's where it really all comes together. The reason we're on top of the nether is because it's a lot easier to run on than in the regular nether world. So, each block in the nether is actually equivalent to 8 blocks in the real world. So say we ran 100 blocks in the nether. Well, if we made another nether portal and we transported back to the overworld, it would actually be 800 blocks. This will help us get away from spawn at 8 times the speed of the normal speed in the overworld. Alright, we're pretty far away now, so I'm going to make the second nether portal to transfer us back to the overworld, and I'm going to show you guys how the times 8 thing works with the blocks. So as you can see our cores have multiplied by 8 and now we are really far away from spawn so now we're going to have to delete this nether portal. Alright now that we're done with that all we need to do is just get a lot of blocks that we can tower all the way to the top of the world. Now that we have a bunch of wooden planks, let's tower all the way up. Alright guys, now that we're done with this, make a little platform, set home, and then just delete the tower that you to tower up. Alright guys, here in the last step, all you're going to need is a shovel, a furnace, some coal, some wood, and a crafting table. And what we're going to be doing here is just really getting sand. So get about a stack. Alright, really all there is to do now is make a bunch of chests, smelt the sand, and build your base. 
The reason you need glass is because this is what you're going to be making your floor out of. Because even if you have your render distance set up far, you still can't really see the glass. You can only see parts of the chest, and it will kind of just look like a bug when you're looking up at the base. But anyways, you're going to want to make your base as condensed as possible with glass floors, and this is how mine turned out. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.